I'm going to help you learn how to describe a Venn diagram from this short video. You learn about Venn diagrams for Max, but in the language classroom, we use a Venn diagram for a different purpose. Our purpose here is not to solve any mathematical problem. It is to transfer the information represented in the Venn diagram into a written text. Api Venn diagrams gani gana ganoa gani tapanti. Namut language classroom make Venn diagram make a gana gani Venat Aramunak Sanda. Itamai Venn diagram make Manatam Venn Rupa Sarahani dekwena Torotu English Basha Avata Parivartane Kirim. Well Venn diagram appears under question number 14 at the O level exam. And if you look at grade 10, it appears in grade 10 term test papers too. Why? You start learning graphs, descriptions. You start it in grade 10. And it is the question number 14. It carries 10 marks. Well, that's not the important thing. So far, a question on Venn diagram has not appeared at the level exam. That's an important message for you children and teachers too. Therefore, uh, putting some effort or taking some more time to learn about Venn diagrams will help you at the exam. As I have uh, explained, and told you in other video clips. The most important thing before looking at the Venn diagram or the graph, whatever, is to read the question well. What is the Venn diagram? Venn diagram is a graph that is a graph that is a graph that is a graph it helps us better describe the graph and here a Venn diagram. So that's what we are going to do first. Then let's have a look at the question and discuss. The following Venn diagram shows three different kinds of sweets. The students of grade 10 A class of your school like to eat. Study the Venn diagram and write a passage. Use around 100 words. So this is the question. Pahatha Dekwana Venn diagram meka Venn Rupa Satana shows three different kinds of sweets. Rasa Kaveli Varakatuna. Three different kinds of sweets. The students of grade 10A class of your school, the A e Panthi, Oga Gay Pase, like to eat. Study the Venn diagram and write a passage. Remember, Venn diagram is not clear. That's what I explained earlier. That is, our purpose here is to interpret the details the given in the Venn diagram in, in the English language. We are going to do English language. Well, now the the sweets are chocolate, milk toffee, and donut. Now this one, this section, this is called a set. The circle, the information in this within this circle represents chocolate. Menna me circle le katuli. Tiya na toro toro niyojane karane chocolate. Maya tapi kena. This is known as a set. Kula and this is the neck, the other set, donut set. And this is milk toffee. So there are three sets. There are three sets. One for chocolate, other representing donut, and the third representing milk toffee. And then you have these elements here, these numbers. Ten. Ten. The high. Mema kota saying, neojane karanawala maidahadeli. This section represents 
10 students and this is known as this this section which I have colored in yellow belongs to both sets may chocolate sa milk toffee ke na dekata maithi kota sir this is known as intersection this is known as an intersection dekata maithi kota sir so here you can see one number one that is it represents only one student economic making new genuine wa yeah may dekata maithi aya and in the middle you have uh, number seven and this is known as the triple intersection triple intersection triple means tunak ehina obata peenawa mema kotasa mema sets tunata maithi kotasa mema sets tunata maithi kotasa ehi number seven is written that means it represents seven students and here there is one intersection which i have colored green there is no number written that means ekiyanne mema kotasata me sets deken kisi kenaku aithi nae kiyana ekai and here you have three three that is it represents this intersection represents three students then let's write of write them in english well we can say like this this area that means represents children who eat chocolate only chocolate pamanak ahare ta ganna ay tamai menna me kota se inne and then what about these five children they eat milk toffee only own anikut sweets varga e kiyanne chocolate and donut they don't eat ewa ahare ta ganne ne they eat milk toffee only kiri toffee pamanak ahare ta ganna ay tamai menna me section eke inne and then these six children they eat donut only ounna ahare ta ganne donut pamanai donut pamanai ounna ahare ta ganne and then this one child this child there is number one only one student here oh for oh, air eat milk toffee and chocolate only when the methane in the made of chocolate saw milk toffee pamana car it again that means he or she does not eat donut oh who oh, a donut are it again in a heavy but chocolate and milk toffee pamana car it again two sweets only a can a rasa kevili varga deka pamana car it again another week then there is another here in this intersection there are three students she showed on the neck you know they eat chocolate and donut only own a car it again no two sweets chocolate saw donut pamanai own milk toffee a car it again in a own milk toffee a car it again in a then there is a blank intersection here what does that mean again there aren't any children who eat donut and milk toffee only again ne donut sah donut sah milk toffee yana dekama aahareyata ganna daruwan kisiwaku nomata there aren't any children who eat donut and milk toffee only then what about these four there are four students outside this sets a kula kola sets ulta fitting in no hathara denak they do not eat any of the given sweets mehi di ati mehi di ati asa kevili varga kisuwak aahare to noganna daruwan thamai menna metana inna hathara dena these four children they don't eat any of the given sweets and then there is there are seven children here what do they do they eat remember they eat all the three types of sweets these seven children eat chocolate donut and milk toffee they eat chocolate 
donut and milk toffee the seven children in the triple intersection mema hata no hat dena daruwan hat dena mema sweets warga tunama aahareta ganna hat dene e hat dena me warga tunama aahareta ganna okay next this is what we are going to do next now let's try to write the first paragraph you know a graph is described usually using three paragraphs now let's try to write the first paragraph and in one other video clip i explain it's very easy to write the introduction part of the uh, graph description make use of the question the words in the question and describe what the graph is about api api karanne prashnaya bhavita karala yam durakata me graph eka kumakda yana waga pamanai kiyanne api vistara walata yanne ne we are we don't go into details remember that in the first paragraph now see how i have written the first sentence the following venn diagram shows three different kinds of sweets then i write the venn diagram so start with the name of the graph here it is a venn diagram if it's a table you say the table the pie chart the bar chart right ema di di ati graph ekey namin patang gamma api the venn diagram given above api samanyen description ekak liyanne graph ekata yati enisa api liyenawa the venn diagram given above shows three different kinds of sweets the venn diagram given above shows three different kinds of sweets the students of grade 10 a class of our school or you can use the name of your school right vidyaloka college like to eat so that's my first sentence introduction then we can write further about it apada thaw durrato wagena kiya hai the sweets are the sweets are chocolate milk toffee and donut the sweets are chocolate milk toffee and donut also we can uh, write the number of students which the whole venn diagram represents that is very easy to do add all these numbers which you find in the venn diagram and it makes the total number of students the venn diagram represents 36 students mema venn diagram ekin sisun 36 deneku niyojane karai now we can put all these three sen three sentences together and write one whole paragraph this is the opening paragraph the first paragraph the venn diagram given above shows three different kinds of sweets the students of grade 10 a class of vidyaloka college or our college like to eat the sweets are chocolate milk toffee and donut mehi niyojane karana rasa kavil warga nam chocolate milk toffee and donut the venn diagram represents 36 students mema venn diagram ekin daruwan 36 deneku niyojane karai so this way we can write the opening paragraph the first paragraph the introduction part of the graph then next the second paragraph how can we do that now we know about these 10 students the total number of students who like to eat chocolate so it is this is an info important fact the total number of students who like to eat chocolate 21 add up all these 10 3 7 and 1 10 1 7 3 21 total number 20 so this set represent 21 students mema kulaken chocolate kana daruwan 21 dekkinna bawa apita peena then what about this 
the total number of students who like to eat milk toffee 5 1 5 1 7 altogether 13 students then 13 students eat milk toffee this set the students that come within this set the total number of students who like to eat donut 6 7 3 makes 16 this fact will help us write the second and third paragraphs mema karunu apita udaw wenawa thawa lasana wakya nirmane karanna devana sa tumwene opinion ekata adala wakya they help us now let's move on to uh, the second paragraph and before that I have I, I want to remind you this with the help of this information that we have found made api hoya gatta toroturu udaw karagana we can say then most favorite or most preferred sweet vadiyemma lama pramaneya kaharita ganni chocolate that is the most favorite or preferred sweet among them Adumala my pramania, the least number of students eat milk toffee. Ena etamai least favorite, emanetta least preferred sweet milk toffee. Donut, 16 students eat donut. It is bigger than 13. Ena apidang tava toro toro deka kwa katta. Vadiyam daru anna re takanna kemati. Sweets varge saha aduim maha reta ganna kemati sweets varge eka pihwaga tehdi dempe hadiliati me sette katula in sankia tike katukarala total lekaragata eking apitir nekala vadima sankia vasa aduma sankia mukada kineka okay now we have more facts to write the second paragraph Then we write 10 students 10 students like to eat chocolate only 10 students write to eat chocolate only don't forget to write only why if you say 10 students like to chocolate that is a wrong fact chocolate they don't eat donut or milk toffee. You know? you, then you have to use this word only. One student like to eat chocolate and milk toffee only. Ekadarwek chocolate saha milk toffee pamana ka hareta garna kamati. They to use only. That is to stress that they eat or the child eat only these two. May they pamana ka hareta garna baba eking kere. And then, seven students like to eat all the three types of sweets. These seven in the triple section. They eat all the three types of sweets. Seven students like to eat all the three types of sweets. Haddenik me sweets varga tunama hareta karna kemati. There aren't any students who like to eat milk toffee and donut only. There aren't any students who like to eat milk toffee and donut only. Kiri toffee saha donut pamana ka hareta ganna kemati kisi wa kumahi nemata. Now children, remember this. When you describe the Venn diagram, when you write sentences, it is enough to write one sentence about each. Me eka kota saggana pamanak because the required number of words in a graph description is 100 words. Then, I made one sentence about this and then another one about this 
another one about the triple section another one about this empty section right so that is enough more than enough and we are going to write another sentence about these four children four students do not like to eat any of the given sweets darwan hatara denek mehi di ati sweets warga kisiwa kaharita ganimata kemati nata now let me see we have written one about this one about this intersection about the triple section this one triple intersection and about this and these four children we have written one two three four five sentences these five sentences along carry a large number of words a large number of words we have more to write we have more to write now this is how i have uh, taken those sentences into put those sentences in one paragraph so it appears like this 10 students like to eat chocolate only one students like to eat chocolate and milk toffee only seven students like to eat all the three types of sweets there aren't any students who like to eat milk toffee and donut only four students do not like to eat any of the given sweets and then the opinion as a whole i can clearly find that chocolate is the most favorite sweet among the students samasthayak vidihata mata hoya ganna puluwan de thamai chocolate thamai daruwan athare wadaatma priya karana aahare rasa kavili varge now how do we know that how do we know that we know it now you remember we found it here this is where we did that now you can see 21 students when all these numbers are added together they make 21 me sankhya tika okkoma ekathu karapuwa within the set chocolates wa visi ekak kena it is the biggest number here okay na the meaning the here the meaning is the, it is the chocolate is the most favorite or most preferred sweet and at the same time we have this number 13 the smallest number here and that the, what does that mean that is the least favorite food or the sweet least preferred sweet among the students so we can write them in the opinion part the last paragraph this way here i have mentioned it once again this way we can easily describe a venn diagram it's not difficult only thing is if you wish to know further about describing graphs you can get down my book on graphs description the book contains 40 different activities on describing graphs simply send me your name address and telephone number on whatsapp